Havik Firth lovers, just so you know, we're in the Al Hirschfeld Theater on Broadway in New York City. We're just about to start the show. We're about an hour before the show starts, and so they're all they're pre-setting in the theater, and that's what all this sound and lights and craziness that you're hearing in the background is going on. All right, so this is the Al Hirschfeld Theater. It's a famous theater. I don't even know how old it is. It's probably about a hundred years old. Um, but many different shows have been in here. The current one uh, that I'm playing is How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. It's a wonderful old musical comedy, traditional musical comedy, full of great swing music, big band music, and which happens to be my first love. Actually, in high school is when I started playing musical theater stuff. Um, you know, both in my high school and in the community, we had a small community theater, and they were often hard up to find a drum set player who could also play some percussion and stuff. And so they would call the high school and say, do you have anybody who can help us out for our, you know, we've got a week run this summer. And so they recommended me and I started playing. My first production was Camelot. And I ended up loving it. And so I started, you know, focusing on it in college. Uh, I started playing all the shows that we did at the university and also in the city that I was living in. One of my friends just suggested, why don't you go up to New York and, and check it out? There's a lot of work in town there. There's a studio scene, there's theater, you know. So I just started coming to visit New York, and a friend introduced me to somebody who happened to play a Broadway show. He invited me to come down and sit in the pit and just to see what it was like, and I, I thought, I can do this. This is awesome. I've done this before. There's a conductor, you play drum set, you play a little percussion. So I just kind of moved here cold without any plans at all. Ended up working out all right. <laughs> my, first, my first subbing uh, gig on Broadway was for the, the show Miss Saigon, which I had no idea what I was getting into at the time. It was the most difficult book I've ever had to learn. Um, but the, I was at the right place at the right time, uh, and I was available and willing to learn the show. It was a monster of a book. It was, you were playing like four mallet marimba, you know, with one hand and a gong and timpani with the other hand and kicking things with your feet. I mean, it was really, it was really chaotic. But it ended up being the best thing for me because luckily I went in and did a really good job and it kind of established my reputation as someone who could cut it in the Broadway pits. So we're backstage, we're actually underneath the stage in the Al Hirschfeld Theater at How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. And I'd like to take you up into my office here in the orchestra pit. Come on this way. So we're underneath the stage itself. Here, right here. This is the stage right above me. And the orchestra pit is here all the way across. And this is just the drum set and percussion side. We have a separate percussionist here on the show. And then here's my little drum set booth here. Where I get to play every night and have a lot of fun, actually. So uh, here for this particular show, I'm playing just drum set and some small percussion. Uh, every setup for every show is different, depending on what's required musically. Um, so, and also because we're in such cramped quarters, you know, we've got 15 people jammed in here to this very small space. So you have to be able to set up really compact and sometimes in a non-traditional way. As you see, I have all my cymbals on this side of the kit and my music right there because I have so many page turns on the music. As you can see straight up there, that's where the conductor would be standing during the show. And I do have a great line of sight where I can see the conductor himself during the show, but they also set up these small little monitors for us uh, so that we don't have to like kind of crane our neck in any kind of weird way and get, you know, repetitive stress injury or something. So this will be a, a monitor of the conductor that I can see during the show, especially if I'm playing stuff over here, it's easier for me to see the conductor on the monitor. But as you'll see right in front of my main crash symbol up there is a monitor of the front of house. So that's the stage. There's a little camera on the balcony that's taking a photo of that. And I will actually look at that during certain dance numbers because I have to catch certain dance moves that aren't the same every night. It'll be different every single night and I have to be, I have to memorize a certain part of the music, focus completely on that screen of the of the stage and catch the dancer doing whatever flip or jump that they're, they're doing. You know, I'll be playing along, playing along a, a beat like this and I'll have to be staring at the thing and then just 
and keep playing through whatever kind of acrobatic flip that they're doing on stage. It's kind of like a circus sometimes, you know, but you, you have to keep the music going. So that's where your four-way independence <laughs> books will come in handy to you guys out there, all right? <laughs> all the stuff that's happening up here on stage, we are accompanying it and we have to play along with it. And things don't always go exactly the same night after night. There's a slight degree of human, you know, it's not error, it's just humanness to the show. Like there, I, I won't give it away, but at the beginning of the show, something really cool happens uh, with the star of the show, Nick Jonas currently, um, that really wows the whole audience. And it's live, and, it's ha and it doesn't happen exactly the same time, so we have to really pay attention to it, and we play the music according to how his, this specific, you know, kind of trick is, is happening. So it's a different show every single night and it keeps it very exciting for the audience that way and we get a lot of people who come back over and over just to see the show and how it changes from night to night every every show is different um, as far as monitoring and hearing all the other music and stuff like that uh, this particular show because it's more of an old-fashioned style musical comedy they tried to keep it mostly acoustic so everybody here can hear each other acoustically, but we also have, you know, in-ear monitors that we can use that we can get us a, a, a mix of like like I like to hear the brass section because there's a lot of big band songs in this show, so I will listen to that. Um, this particular show doesn't have any kind of click in it. A lot of modern shows do. Um, some some shows are all to a click that there's a click on the whole thing, but. Um, we are all live here. There's nothing pre-recorded. There's nothing taped. There's no, I mean, vocals and everything. We're totally, completely live. So it's a, a fresh musical experience every night. So yeah, when I, f when I first moved to New York City, uh, again, thanks to my percussion teacher in college and getting me well-rounded and learning all the instruments, the first opportunity that I had to play on Broadway was on a total percussion-only chair. It was uh, mallets and timpani and gongs and piatti and all that kind of stuff. It was totally orchestral percussion. Um, and if I wouldn't have had all that experience, I wouldn't have gotten that opportunity and I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now because that first thing that I was able to do, it opened the door to everything else that I've done in the over the decade that I've lived here. And it, if you're a percussionist, it's equally important for you to be able to play drum set as well because a lot of the books on the Broadway shows these days are what they call combined books. It's where it's centered around a drum set and then you will play the additional percussion as well. So it's, I just can't stress how important it is for you to be as well-rounded of a player as you can be. To be able to play on any instrument that comes by, whether it's hand drums or whether it's you know vibraphone and all the mallet instruments or timpani or drum set, the more you know how to do, the more you're going to work. So when you first sub for a Broadway show, you'll go in and you'll sit right next to the percussionist or the drummer and sit through the whole show and experience it right there sitting next to them. So you can kind of hear what the dynamics are, you can watch the music go by, you can see how the percussionist or the drummer is grabbing all the different mallets and making all the changes because there's a lot of that kind of stick choreography that happens during a show. Um, and then you'll get a, you'll make a rough recording from in the pit and you'll take a copy of the music home with you and then you woodshed it like crazy. Uh, usually you have enough time, as much time as you need to learn the music. Sometimes it's a little more high pressure and someone is stuck for a Saturday night and they say, can you learn it in a week? And then you say yes or no, you know, depending on how you feel. But most of the time you'll have as much time as you need to learn the book before you go in and perform it. And there's no rehearsal before you go in and play. You simply go and learn it. You can come and watch it as many times as you want sitting in the pit. But when it's your time to play, you just go in and you play it for the first time totally cold without any rehearsal. So it's kind of a high pressure situation. So it is really important no matter where you live start playing in the theater community wherever you live. You know, get out there and play. If, if your local church is putting on a production of Anything Goes, you know, to, for a fundraiser, go there and do it. Because the experience that you're going to get there in a smaller level with less pressure is going to be the experience that you need to be able to cut it here. You know, because there are, there are people who come here fresh 
out of school ha having no experience. And they try to go and sub on Broadway and they kind of fall on their face because they don't have any of that real world experience. You come here and you see a Broadway show happening and it seems like there's this smooth glassy surface that's happening. What you don't know is that underneath are these piranhas snapping away under the water. And if you don't know how to swim, <laughs> you know, you're going to get hit by those piranhas. So get, get some experience wherever you are before you make your move to the Big Apple. There is a brotherhood of man Dedicated to giving all we can Oh, aren't you proud to be in that fraternity The Great Big Brother